Okay, I got myself a tarp, some cordage, and got this uh, made in China shovel. This is an unboxing here. You can see that uh, this is supposedly a survival shovel. It's almost like a an apocalyptic fantasy tool. Probably unrealistic, uh, but it does have a nice feature of being very small. So you can say what you want, but uh, it is quite small, and it's got these ridiculous attachments, like a this little spindly knife, with the idea that somehow you're gonna maybe use that knife in some way. Maybe it's a weapon or something. Realistically, it's uh, you're not gonna be fighting hand-to-hand -hand combat with a spear, but uh, you can have a fantasy about it. So again, they kind of categorize this as a fantasy prep item. This is like more like a handle. What this is, oh, this looks like a compass. So it looks like a, and it's got like a flint steel in it. I suppose you can attach this compass here. Attach this. And in theory, you could dig with this fantasy shovel. Is this actually any good? Well, let's find out. Huh? I can tell this thing would break if I were to really go down on it, but uh, if this dirt is soft, I think this could work. But um, this is definitely not strong shovel. So if the dirt is soft, like in the soft dirt under the bridge, instead of out here in the in this open area, this here the dirt is kind of hard. So with soft dirt, I think this will work, but I think if I were to try to dig here, it might break. Oh, and the purpose of the tarp is uh, to put the topsoil on top of the dirt on the tarp exactly as you take it. So when you put it back, it's hidden. So you're your, you can hide your dig. And the cordage is mostly just for tying to a trunk of a tree and then maybe tying to another trunk of a tree and creating cross lines so you know where to dig. So that's how you locate your prep location. But uh, you can also, I guess, pretend you're gonna be camping here as a homeless or something. It's a cover activity. Okay, interestingly, the knife actually can hide in the shovel, like this. Probably you're not supposed to do that, so I think I'm going to take that out. But uh, in theory, you can hide the shovel, hide the knife blade in the shovel, to have a spear, but I'm going to not do that. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to just have this be a shovel. So, so anyway, that's my Suprock uh, unboxing and review. I had not opened it pre previously, so that's my first view. I'm kind of afraid to hit hard with this thing, but again, I think this will work with soft dirt, but I don't think this will dig in hard dirt. The Suprock shovel, though, has a very convenient feature in that it's very small, even though it's kind of wimpy and it probably would break if I were to dig in a hard dirt. But it's very good for a covert burial of a prep. So as long as you're not digging in hard dirt with it, it's very lightweight, it's easy to assemble and folds up. 
So whereas like a big full size shovel, you're basically not gonna be able to really carry it covertly uh, to your burial site because it's just huge and heavy. So I'm gonna give this a, a second look here. I noticed that these actually all have uh, hermetic seals. So you can use these as a, like a chamber to store things that you don't want to get wet. This might be useful. It also looks like it's got a, I didn't see this before, but it's got basically a built-in screwdriver of sorts, but it doesn't seem to really go in that well. I think they didn't quite machine the screwdriver placement that well, but you could sort of struggle with this as a screwdriver. So you got yourself a Phillips in a slotted and put your plate in there. I think in California this might be illegal. I'm not sure because it's a uh, because you have a hidden blade that might be like a cane sword or something looks like uh this is not attached that well it's not it doesn't come tightened down so Definitely can create sparks, so that's good. So, it does work. It's a source of fire if you've got a uh, Vaseline soaked rag or something to ignite. Other than that, these uh, tube sections are hollow. So if you were to want to have a hermetically sealed chamber or tube if you could so this first segment so you could store it like this hermetically sealed Each of these is hermetically sealed, so you can store maps, pills, things like that in there in separate segments, which is kind of neat it's in its own. Not sure how practical it is, but uh, having hermetically sealed chambers might be useful. She's got a compass. I don't think that'll last very long. You might smack it, especially since it's on an impact tool like a shovel. Okay, this one's got a reverse thread. So when I'm attaching the shovel back, it goes on a reverse thread here. So that you can't accidentally. It's like you tighten these to loosen that one, and you tighten that one the other direction. And then you got your fantasy blade there. But the primary purpose of a shovel is to dig. And these other goody goodies like can openers and these other features, those are just more for show. If the shovel doesn't perform its primary function, which is to dig, or it's kind of flimsy, then the rest of it doesn't really matter. This is still okay. I mean, it's not a terrible 
cool. But it's not the strongest tool either. Actually, this one's a little shorter. Look, it's got like a little breaker tool on it too. I guess that's the... The end was the... Uh, huh, I wonder if I should put it this way instead. Seems like you can assemble it and disassemble it in multiple ways. So you can now. The compass part has a breaker tool on it so you can break glass. So, I mean, it's a nifty tool. If this is the only tool that you have, is a shovel. It's got a couple other toys on it. Like you can start fires with it. Cut, maybe, I think this is too weak to cut, but to start fires, it's okay. You wouldn't want to not have a knife on you if you are carrying this. Also, the blade edge is sharp, so you could kind of stab with that or something, and cut with that. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't trust this too much. So, is this a fantasy tool or is this an actual real tool? I think this is better than a fantasy prep, but uh, I wouldn't trust this too far. I'm not exactly sure where I would store the, the knife part. Maybe in the same place as the uh, screwdriver. That doesn't quite fit. It doesn't quite fit. one I have to store the screwdriver head in here and then it doesn't quite fit in the bag there are slots in the bag for parts but I was hoping that I could actually store them in the tool itself actually if I can store it in the tool this way Not really, I don't think so. We will store the blade in there like that. And these other parts I will stick in there like little pouches. I mean it's a neat idea. But this is my this is the worst part, the screwdriver part. little bit over the top that you would use a screwdriver in a situation where you need this. The knife blade though is a nice addition. Uh, still not sure. It's kind of uncomfortable to store it in there. I'll cut myself with it. So I've noticed a problem. I actually am not sure where to store the knife blade. So then the knife blade is kind of almost extraneous. Oh, actually, I can sort of just stick it in like this, as long as I don't push on it. I have to have all these things uh, hidden. I can close this. Put this in there. This is a little bit of a odd end, the, uh, the screwdriver bit. Not sure where to put it without losing it. But that's just how it is. Oh look, there's a little whistle. So on the back of this, I keep discovering more and more features. This little dinky little whistle on the back of the flint. Is that useful? Yeah. I 
I wonder if I should actually attach the knife to this and then screw this into something. But it's like not the right thread. So you can't. The whistle has a different thread than the knife blade. So you can't store it that way. So again, the only way to really store it is by sort of taking advantage of the thread, which I think is not really meant to be done this way, and storing it there. So now the only part that has no home is the tool bit, the uh, screwdriver bit. Fortunately, I kind of don't really care about the screwdriver bit, but I hope I don't lose it. And this pouch, okay, it looks like this is gonna be for this pouch here. So I did get the pleasant surprise of discovering more features that were not evident initially. But these clips are like cheesy plastic, they're not going to last very long. Uh, but I did try it on hard dirt and I, I'm pretty sure that if I were to hit hard it would break. But I'm also sure that if it was soft dirt, it would be just fine. <laughs>